Good evening, everyone, and welcome. November, it is a month most investors embrace because it's famous for starting what historically has been the most bullish six-month period for stocks, dating back to 1950. But fresh off Friday's record high closes for the Dow and the S&P 500, the markets began this November with a whimper. Early in the day, stocks did rise on favorable data about U.S. manufacturing. At one point, in fact, both the Dow and the S&P 500 set fresh all-time intraday highs. But then came a sharp sell-off in the price of oil, and that drove energy stocks down. The broader market followed suit. We'll have more on why oil dipped in just a moment. Here's how things looked at the closing bell. The Dow down 24 points. The Nasdaq added eight, just enough to close at a fresh 14 and a half year high. And the S&P was fractionally lower, as you see there. So despite today's uninspiring start, will this be a November to remember in the markets? Dominic Chu takes a look. There's a reason why so many investors are optimistic when it comes to the holiday season. The end of the year typically comes with a nice rally for the stock market. According to analysts at Bespoke Investment Group, that's been the case over the course of the last century. They looked at the performance of the Dow Jones Industrial Average and found that November delivers an average gain of close to three quarters of 1% and is positive 60% of the time. December is even better, up an average of almost 1.5% with positive returns 75% of the time. This time around, there are a number of positive drivers for markets and that's leading some experts to forecast a happy holiday season. I do believe that you're going to get a Santa Claus rally this year. Decent GDP numbers, pretty good confidence in the market, pretty good confidence in manufacturing, and, and I think that uh, consumers will spend this year. Of course, just because things in the past have generally been bullish for the stock market during the final two months of the year doesn't mean they are necessarily going to be the same this time around. There are those who believe that investors still have to be aware of the many risks that still linger. The real risk is that growth doesn't materialize, that you get Europe or you get uh, a geopolitical event or even Japan that ends up to, to create a, a real concern and begin to create a true growth concern for the market. And if that happens and growth doesn't materialize, that's certainly a risk to our prospects of a, a very good close to the year. Those are just a few of the market and economic variables to contend with. And let's not forget that we're just a day away from midterm elections, which could be another market catalyst. So as you're getting ready to carve up your turkeys and your hams, make sure you know about what could carve up your portfolio returns. For Nightly Business Report, I'm Dominic Chu.